Hello everyone! Today we are making these delicious mini puff pastry vegan quiche. As always, the full run-out recipe is on my blog. There's a link in the description box down below for that, and ingredients are in the description box as well. So to start off, we're going to add half of a bell pepper, some onion, some green onion, and kale into a food processor. I didn't really chop this up or anything. We're just going to throw it in there and just let the food processor do its job. Chop it up until it is nice and small, and then I'm just putting it in this bowl that I had the veggies in before, and we're going to set that to the side while we work on our other ingredients. But as you can see, really, really nice and tiny. That's why I love the food processor for this. We are going to use the vegan just egg for this recipe. It's an awesome product. You can get it at a lot of stores. So I put that in a nice big measuring cup. Going to add in non-dairy milk, chickpea flour. I'm adding in a little black pepper. You don't have to. And then we are just going to whisk it up until it is nice and smooth. If you don't have the just egg, you may be able to get away with using like a medium firm tofu for this. Then we're gonna add in some vegan feta. You can use any vegan cheese that you like. I just had this one from Follow Your Heart in the fridge. Set that to the side. And finally, the last puzzle piece is our puff pastry. So I'm just opening it up carefully. It has been thawed on the counter. And now we're going to take a rolling pin and just start to roll it out until it is a really nice big rectangle. The nice thing about puff pastry is it's not too fragile and you can be, you know, a little bit harder with it, you know, be careful, but you don't have to be super, super careful like with phyllo dough. So now I'm just marking out three columns and four rows. And this is gonna make 12 pieces for our 12 quiche. And I'm gonna like lightly trace it out, mark it off, and then I'll go with my knife more and really make those dents nice and sharp so I know where I'm cutting. So now we'll have 12 of these rectangles. Generously, I repeat, generously, spray your pan with oil. I'm using a little muffin tin here. Then you're going to stretch out the dough and then you're just going to pop it right in those little muffin tin wells. I don't know what to call this, the little hole there. Carefully put it in and you wanna leave some of that puff pastry kind of like hanging over the top out the sides i like it it kind of gets that little pointy look it's like so pretty and so cute so they don't have to be perfect but just get them in there and make sure it's kind of really covering the bottom and the sides well and just push it in with your hand make sure it's laying flat so once they're all done we can add in our little filling so i'm taking some vegan prosciutto i'm using the one from mia green food you can use any like little turkey slices ham slices we don't whatever you know whatever vegan ones you want from tofurkey then we're going to add in our veggies so i added in about half of the veggies and then i'm going to save the rest and add it on top later you'll see and now we're going to slowly pour in our vegan egg mixture and we're just gonna add it to like kind of the top of the line of the well, not past it obviously. It will rise slightly in the oven, so just fill it up slowly. And I kind of like to fill them up halfway, make sure they're all filled up and then kind of go back and fill them up, you know, just to make sure everything is getting the filling evenly. Then I'm gonna add in the rest of the veggies like you can see here. Then I just took a spoon and kind of just like pressed them in a little bit more. And then we're gonna pop them in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 33 minutes until they come out golden brown and a toothpick comes out clean. And that's really all you have to do. When they're all done, they're gonna look like this. And then you just wanna let them cool for like five minutes, not very long, but just give them a second to cool down. And then just use a butter knife to help get them out of the little wells. And that's it. I let them cool on a cooling rack for like another like 10 minutes. You can enjoy these fresh out of the oven. You can enjoy them once they've cooled down a little bit. Check out the blog post for any you know instructions on how to reheat these how to freeze them everything like that but overall these were so delicious they were non-vegan approved and i think they are so fun for brunch if you want to make them tomorrow for easter if you're celebrating easter or for mother's day if you like my videos make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you next week with another video bye